were open today. Can you uh, talk a little bit about how, how they got so open? Uh, I thought we had a good game plan and a really good week of practice. You know, uh, getting back on a, on a winning streak's been good. But sometimes, you know, you can catch yourself being a little lackadaisical. And uh, our guys are, are doing a good job of locking in every day, treating every day of practice like, you know, we're, we're preparing for the Arena Bowl. So we had a good game plan. Our guys executed. And then, you know, it's just about hitting spots at the right time. And uh, can't say enough about how well that O-line blocks every game. They, they did another heck of a job tonight. And uh, if we can do that every time, uh, throw that – bad interception there out at, at, at the end and we got to be able to score from the one right there before the half but other than that I thought we, we executed very well tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about that game plan? It seemed like everybody was involved obviously you're clicking pretty well offensively. Yeah I mean we we uh, we were expecting some things from them. Uh, we know they like to play some zone. Mm-hmm. Uh, we figure they, they might zone up uh, Clean Amoku when he's in motion. He's, he's been giving everybody fits and you know just take what they give you. Uh, our guys uh, are smart football players. That's why they, they get open a lot because they understand uh, what other teams are doing schematically. So just gotta j- just gotta move the ball down. I mean that first drive, what with third and fifteen, that's never good. But hey, Marco made a great play. Ryan took the top of the, off the coverage. Marco gets open, breaks a tackle, and then hey, we're rolling from there. You must feel a little bit of pressure to score because uh, of the way that game was going. I guess there were about three quarters. Uh, I think that was the stop before the half might have been the only stop in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I mean, from James's pick in the third. Mm-hmm. Um, do you almost feel pressure as an offense just to keep it going? Or do you, do you uh, I mean, heat, I guess? You, it, you, you can't say you feel pressure because it's your job to score every time in this league. You know, Every time you touch it, you should go get six. Mm-hmm. So... We're confident in our ability, so we don't put pressure on ourselves and uh, just go out there trusting each other. Defense has been playing well lately, so just, hey, rely on them to get a few stops, go out there, do our job. If we score every time and they get one stop, we should win. So, Can you talk about the chemistry on the field at this point in the season? Yeah, hey, uh, we're, we're uh, you know, I feel like we're a tight-knit bunch. Our guys, uh, like I said, we practice hard, and that correlates into how you respond to each other off the field. Our guys... I, I try to tell them in the, in the huddle before every game, hey, we put our arms around each other. We got the best group in the league. Believe in your brother. Know that he's going to do his job. Do your one eighth. And I mean, hey, we're, we're getting better. Guys are, are, are starting to understand when and where to do certain things out there on the field. And it's making my job easier. It's helping coach out. And then when you, you believe in each other and trust in each other to do their job and you go out there and execute, and, you know, it, it, it looks smooth. And uh, I'm proud of my guys. Can you talk about the distribution of the ball tonight? You, all four receivers had touchdowns. Just talk about that a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, our guys, I've been saying it for years now. When their number's called, they're, they're the type of guys who, who step up and respond well. So it doesn't matter who's going to get it. Our guys are, are all good enough players to uh, create matchup problems, no matter it's man, zone, red zone, full field, whatever. And uh, we believe in each other. So, hey, go out there, make the read, get the ball out quick. That's what we do. And our guys have been making plays on the outside. We're going to keep it up. Let's make, let's make a preparation like this offseason. Like, things back from last year and now this year. Like, just, uh, just, just, just grind, you know. Uh, we were very uh, upset with how the season went last year. I thought we uh, underachieved with, with what we had talent-wise and coaching-wise. But, you know, you got to use that as motivation, especially losing to uh, a team like Cleveland three ways like we did and then to be, you know, out from the playoffs on a, a tough field goal. Credit to them, but, you know, we – we moved on from that. We've just been working hard every day. And, uh, you know, anytime we touch it, like I say, we're, we're going to try to go get six. What's the effect of being able to spread the ball around like you did? I think there was three of the receivers had 95 yards or more. Help, what, what does that open up? Does it help? I mean, yeah, when guys are making plays, I mean, it, it opens other guys up. And in, in this game, there's only so many things you can really do offensively and defensively. So, like I said, it's all about knowing your assignment and doing your eighth. So, when they get out there, it, it, it looks nice when you throw a 10-yard pass and they break four tackles and run 30, 40 yards extra and score touchdowns. So I'm just trying to get it out quick in the hands of the playmakers. It looked like SK got a little banged up on that last play. Did he, was he okay? Uh, yeah, he looks to be fine. Um, uh, went in, smashed the wall. I mean, he's a, he's a flying Hawaiian, man. He plays hard. <laughs> Uh, he plays the wall well too. There's some guys who you know play the wall better than others, and SK traditionally plays the wall very well. So I thought it was a tight ball. I thought uh, Bryant threw a good ball down there. They they had three timeouts, so you know you can't really run the ball there because they could stop the clock. But I hope he's all right. I think he'll be fine. He's in there high fiving everybody right now, so we'll be all right. <laughs> Gerald does look great in pass protection, but he's not a true fullback. Just talk about that a little bit. You know you've been accustomed to having Ross and Taggart back there in your career. Just how's it been playing without a true running back fullback? I mean. I don't know. 
it, it's, it feels good. He goes in there and sticks his nose in there and blocks the heck out of those other guys in there. And he had a couple nice runs tonight too. But uh, Coach Dalzell is, is, is one heck of a coach, man. He's going to get guys in, in, in positions to be successful. And, you know, he might not be the fastest guy, but I bet you just from what we do on offense, he'll have a bunch of yards and touchdowns by the end of it. So I'm proud of him. It, it, it's not an easy position to play. It's a head-on collision about every play with the, the linebacker or the nose guard. And, you know, he's answered the bell, and uh, I'm excited to see how good he can get.